Hello, and welcome to what's bubbling at Zimbibor. I'm Inventor Dan Zen, and in this bubbling, we're going to take a look at corners. Let's go to the site now at zimjs.com. We'll press on the Neo example, and in come a bunch of buttons. Uh, these are tabs that have corners on them that are different. And check this one out. It makes a nouveau speech bubble. Isn't that neat? So the corner of that is zero, but the corner of these are 30 or 40 or whatever. So this is the example with a bunch of different corners. We're doing the same thing with the speech bubble there. Um, although just, uh, I think that this, we can start typing in here, F, 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 and you see how the speech bubble increases in size or decreases in size. Connors. <laughs> And uh, we want a capital R in there. Super duper. I like this one. It looks like that that's rotated. Same type of thing, but rotated. And it looks like one of those pins. Uh, here's a negative corner. Like a card cut. Some of the um, swoosh corners, call them. Tabs have always had uh, corners. We had corners initially either all the corners or we could say flat bottom or bottom flat or something like that. I can't remember which one. And then here's corners that can, if you use a corner radius or a corner that is the same size as half, well, if the corner is the same size as radius or the, is half the width of it, then you end up getting circles. So that's neat. One thing we didn't show here is if you go too far with corners, you start getting some abstract crossing pattern type things. All right, let's look at the code in behind here then. Corners and a Zim9. And there's the cat. So we'll be kind of quick here. It's, it's pretty straightforward. Here's a label and there's how we do the corners. If you pass in an array, traditionally we would we would have passed in eight or something and have all four corners be eight. But if you pass in an array, then it it is uh, the left, the top, top left, top right, bottom right, bottom left. And same for all of these features that we're doing in here. So there's no real uh, difference or complexities in applying a corner to all these things. So we made a bunch of them and then we threw it into a tile. We seried those objects. So the objects were the label, the rectangle, the stepper, the progress, all that that we, that we added. We make a series of it and throw it into a tile and that allows us to tile all this stuff and give us this look nice and easy. How about that, huh? With a bunch of corners. So that is what's bubbling at Zim with the corners. A nice quick one. Uh, come on in, give it a try. And in the next bubbling, we're going to take a look at, huh, oh, the new blob and multiple selection and, and uh, a way that you can contribute to some squiggle and blob paths for us. All right, we'll talk to you later. Ciao.